Well, the question today is, how do you graph a line? So we have two equations here of lines, and we're going to graph each one of those. So let's see. Uh, here's what we do, what we're going to do. We're going to graph the intercepts. That means we're going to uh, let x be 0 and find y. And then we're going to let y be 0 and find x. So we you agree if we let x be 0, then this, this 2x just disappears and we only have y equals minus 5. Now, now we'll let y be 0. That means since y equals 2x minus 5, we'll set 2x minus 5 equal to 0 and solve. So 2x adding 5 to both sides equals 5. Now if we divide both sides by 2, we get x equals 5 over 2. So we've got a 5 over 2 there. Now let's graph that. And so we're at 0, oh boy, 0, negative 5. Let me make an adjustment here. 0, negative 5. And then we've got x equals 5 halves, so that's 5 halves 0. Uh -huh. 5 halves 0. And we'll draw a line through those two points. And we just did it. We graphed that equation. We graphed the line. Now let's do the same thing here. We'll let x be 0, and then we'll let y be 0. Will you agree if x is 0, that term's wiped out, and we wind up with minus 4y equals 12? So dividing through by negative 4, we wind up with y equals minus 3. 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3, so minus 3. Now, let's let y be 0, and what's the equation we'll have? Well, that term will disappear, and we'll just have 3x equals 12. And dividing both sides by 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So we're talking of 4, 0. And now let's graph this line. Uh -huh. And here we are at 4, 0. I beg your pardon. Here we are at, <laughs> excuse me, error there. Here we are at 0, negative 3. And now, over here, we have 4, 0. And we'll run a line through those two points, and we've got it. Graphed a line. But let me show you one more you run it, might run into, which uh, can present a problem. We'll call it C. And what if you have something like y equals negative 2x? Well, if we let x be 0, turns out y is going to be 0 also. So, uh, you know, we've got a little problem here. We need another point, and z we can't let x, uh, y be 0 because we just get 0 for x. So we'll pick any other point. How about letting x equal, uh, let x equal 2? Well, then will you agree y is going to be negative 4? In other words, we'd let x be any other value than 0 and solve. So let's see. We'll graph this. This thing, uh, notice the y-intercept is 0. So the x and y-intercepts are both occur at the same point 0. That's why we have that 0, 0 there. There's no constant term out here. So, uh, I guess we're going to go over 2 and down 4, aren't we? 2, negative 4, and here we are at 0, 0. And so we graphed it. And uh, I think we've covered uh, our bases on that one. We're done.